Hey, what's going on guys? Flick here, and today I'm happy to announce that I'll be participating in what's going to be an awesome collaboration between myself and a ton of other crew mode YouTubers. The theme of this series is going to be centered around the Euros, so you're going to see a lot of teams that are participating in the Euros in this competition, my team included. I'm ecstatic to have Germany. Probably would have been my first pick, but I was lucky enough to get them with the number 5 out of 16 picks, and man, I am ready to get going with this series. I will try to explain the rules of this series as best I can, but if you would like a full explanation of the concept of this series you can check out the video made by Guardi FIFA speaking of which he was the creator of this series so I want to give him a special thanks as well as to Tyler or T Ray all day for making all the thumbnails and graphics using this tournament there is of course a little career mode twist of the series and that twist is that for our respective countries we can only use players that are 21 or younger in game and of course I'm in a group with a couple of other people those players are B4 Lancer he has the Republic of Ireland Guardi FIFA he does have Spain which is gonna be a tough opponent and my opponent for today's match is gonna be against Mirin and he is representing Poland so I have selected a starting 11 subs and reserves that would fit the qualifications of this series I'll just go through my starting 11 and then show you guys my bench because I don't plan on rotating things around too much but if there are any unknown German talents that are 21 or younger that you guys know about feel free to leave it in the comment section maybe I can use them in the next episode our keeper is surprisingly our weakest position usually one of the things that you associate with Germany is good goalkeepers but a lot of them are 22 or 23 so we had to go with this guy Raider and he's not too bad 67 rated a lot better than some of the other countries but moving on our left back is quite good 70 rated he's got a lot of pace on him so that's the main reason I chose him we have a great center back partnership with Sula and Ta Mitchell Weiser at the right back position he does have four star skills which may come in handy Emre Chan, of course we use him in our Liverpool career mode so I'm very familiar with him we have Bittencourt here at the left mid Nabry at the right mid Max Meyer at the center attacking mid and our strike force up front is going to be Timo Werner one of my favorite players in all of FIFA and Leroy Sané the cover boy for our thumbnail moving on to our subs and reserves I have a couple of midfielders and wingers that I may bring on later in the game uh, in case fitness does get low because for some of these younger players that do have relatively low fitness also have Selka here 72 rated but he is quite tall so if we do need to bring in an aerial threat he's going to be our man for that and this is our reserves I may rotate around our subs and reserves a little bit we have some good players here we have Joshua Kimmich who could very well be a starting talent and if any of our center mids don't perform we may bring him in I think that's going to be it for explaining the series guys if you have any questions about this series make sure to leave them in the comment section and I'll be responding to those later on but we're going to get on now to our match against Niren. I'm going to have a link to his channel in the description. Make sure you check him out. He's got some awesome career mode content, some awesome tips that you guys can learn from. And he's just a good guy overall, so make sure you check out his channel. All right, guys, we're into our match against Niren, and it looks like he's got a very strong attack in Poland. I'm pretty sure he's got Milic up front, who, of course, scored in the Euro, so he should be a dangerous threat for him. Leroy Sané, can he put this away? Oh, and he ends up in the back of the net. Did that take a deflection? Not the best of goals, but Leroy Sané just started playing him at striker, and he bags himself a goal. Not sure what the keeper was doing there. Let's take a look at the replay. Some good build-up play. Let's see if this took a deflection. I think it must have. That's so unlucky on Niren's part, but there's something about these online friendlies. If you just crack long shots from way out there, they seem to go in, so I plan on doing that in this match, just trying to test the keeper, who, of course, aren't the highest rated. Oh, that's a good through ball. It's Milik, probably his best player. He's going to try to cut inside. Gets by a couple players. The fake shot, and it's over the bar. How has Milik missed that one? I think that even clipped the top of the crossbar. Now Poland with a bit of an attack. He's gained a lot of confidence here. Sending it to the far post. We get a piece of it. He's also offsides. Did not let him shoot a long shot. He's going to go with the through ball. That is a fantastic goal. Fair play, and a tidy little chip over the keeper. Near and starting to attack, and it looks like it is game on now. Oh, it's top three ball. Can we find him? Oh, it's Timo Werner. Can he put this away? Left-footed. Oh, that one goes just wide. You got to get that one on target, Timo. Throw in for us. Can we get a goal just before halftime? Get that 45th minute cheese. We see a man in the middle. Timo Werner, can he turn him? 
Gets by a couple. Have the shot. Timo is going to get it on target. Joguski pulling off the save, making up for his earlier mistake. Come on, we've got some aerial threats in the box. We got Jonathan Todd. We have Nicholas Sula. Can we get a goal? And as I say that, we get a chance, but Jogoski collects it. That's got to be the halftime whistle. And there it is. 1-1 going into the break. It's been a good first half. My goal was a little bit sloppy. His goal was quite tidy. And I got to get another goal here in the second half. Looking at the stats, it looks like we've been dominating, but I wouldn't say that's necessarily been the case. Niren's had a couple of chances with Poland, and Milik is probably his most dangerous player with those LBY passes. Our defense needs to step up, and we need to get some more shots on Drogowski, see if he truly is one of Kuro's best keepers. Chance here for Poland to send in on the set piece. Let's get this one cleared out. Header cleared out by our keeper, but right back to the corner flag. Cross sent in once again. Jonathan Ta is going to distribute that one away. And we're going to pause it, make some substitutions here. With only 25 minutes left in the match, I'm going to try to get some players on with more stamina. Leon Goretzka is going to be the guy in for Max Meyer. He hasn't really made an impact for me in this game. And we're also going to bring on Selka. I'm going to try to send him more crosses. So I'll have Sané and Selka up front. What other substitution can I make? Emery Chan's been playing all right. We'll bring on Julian Brandt in at the left mid position. Leroy Sané, can he have the shot? They just keep intercepting it, man. Oh, he's got it. He's got him through. This is going to be a goal for Poland. It's two to one. This is just shocking scenes. Poland is beating Germany. I had high ambitions going to this tournament, but niren has been a quality player. Both of his goals have been solid. We need to attack in this last 20 minutes. Selka. Come on, just cut inside. Finesse shot. You got to put this one away right at Dragoski. Are you kidding? Come on, Goretzka. Beat him out. You got to get a goal for me here. Just near post shot. And Dragoski is just stepping up. Man, Poland's keeper is just on fire right now, man. There we go. This is a chance. Can Julian Brett send in the cross for us? Cross sent in on the near post. The diving header. Oh my goodness. The scenes if that would have gone in. Emery Chan might be able to keep it for us though. Needs to find a pass. And he gets it taken away. Guys, I think that's going to be game. Niren's played well in this game. Fair play to Poland. Beating the likes of Germany who statistically might be better, but Poland has some quality players. Jogowski played big for him in the back, and Milic played big for him up front. We lose our first game, not how I wanted to start this tournament, and I'm extremely disappointed not to have picked up at least a draw, even a win. And now we've got to come up against the likes of Ireland and Spain to try to get out of our group, which is going to be extremely difficult. So you're playing up against uh, Ireland, uh, and I'm playing against Sam. That's going okay, to be Okay, you, you need to beat Sam. You need to beat Sam. I do. Do you know how depressed I was when you scored? Dude, I don't even know what happened on I that hadn't goal. Touched the, I hadn't touched the ball. I didn't touch the ball. Yeah. Until my I was I was feeling really good at the start of the match. Was that a deflection goal? Yeah, it, it? it deflected slightly, but okay. I think it probably would have gone in anyway. Yeah. Because I saw your keeper. I was like, wow, Jorowski, man. He's supposed to be good on career mode. What's, yeah, what's going like, on? <laughs> God's sake. I haven't, I haven't heard of your goalkeeper. What's his, what's his name? Raider. Oh, man. Me neither. I was really disappointed to see, like... Who is it, Ter Stegen's 22 or 23? All the really oh. good German keepers are like 22 or 23. Yeah, that's annoying. So I just missed out. Yeah, because Leno as well. Mm -hmm. oh, Leno, up. yeah. Um, yeah, I just missed out on those guys. So I was either going to go with uh, Velenreuther or Raider. They're both like 67 rated. Oh, Jesus, I've never heard of either of them. Oh, actually, no, Velenreuther, he plays in Spain, doesn't he? Something like that, yeah. Yeah, oh, man. And um, honestly, that first goal you scored well. was absolutely incredible. The little dink over the keeper, I was just like... It, was, it wasn't a dink, it wasn't a dink, so I'm guessing he miskicked it because I didn't actually press LB. <laughs> it looked I, good. It, it, it looked, looked brilliant. Good. I might claim post-com, or actually no, I'm not, it's, it's, oh shit, it's live com. I can't even claim it, I can't even claim it. So yeah, it wasn't a dink, <laughs> he just miskicked it. Cool. I think it's going to be a good group as well. I think yeah. this, this is the group where they're basically the most evenly matched because of the way the, the picks worked. Very much so, and I think all of us in this group are, are very quality FIFA players, as well as everyone in this tournament, but yeah, yeah. I think everyone in here is uh, pretty decent. That's fine. Sounds good. Yeah, good game. I'll do the same. You too, man. Talk Speak to you later. later. Well, guys, that match did not go as planned, but these kind of things do happen. Even the likes of international football, you'll see the likes of underdog teams going ahead and beating the Giants. And in my case, Germany, I would consider to be one of the Giants in this competition. The rest of this tournament is going to be huge for me. I need to pick up a win in our next match against Guardi FIFA and even a match against Ireland against B Ford. So if you guys can go ahead and leave some comments down below, tell me what I need to improve on, and I would appreciate that feedback. But if you guys did enjoy the intro to this series, make sure to drop a like down below. Subscribe if you are new to the channel. And until next time, this has been Flick. I'll be talking to you guys again soon.